I want to introduce you to an application known as Stylometry. Now over here on Wikipedia, it says that it's often used to attribute authorship to anonymous or disputed documents. Sounds very simple, right? But my friend, in reality, Stylometry is a lot scarier than this. Stylometry actually has the capability to determine whether or not an anonymous document may or may not have been written by you. So let's say, for example, I, as a regular individual, I have my blog over here, I write different kinds of articles, write with my name attached to the articles. But then let's say at night, I decide to go to Reddit, I sign in with my pseudonym, uh, my name on Reddit is John Doe 69 and I start writing all sorts of articles, very, very controversial articles. It turns out that stylometry can determine to an 80% accuracy that I might have actually written all these controversial articles on Reddit. And the way it does this is this. If stylometry has access to some of my documents here on my blog, it needs about 5,000 to 6,000 words. And what it does with all that data is it analyzes my writing style, my grammar, and then it will basically create a profile, a writing profile of me. It will then use that profile to determine whether or not the articles that I have written on Reddit were actually written by me. So that's the really scary thing about stylometry. Stylometry can be used to determine the actual author of articles, of anonymous articles. There's actually a video over here on YouTube. You can take a look at it. It's called uh, Stylometry and Online Underground Markets. It's a very interesting speech. It only has about a thousand and seven views, which is kind of surprising because this is, this is actually a very, very interesting uh, lecture. You can watch it. It's very interesting, you learn more about stylometry. But I want to show you a different kind of, about well, one of the kinds of stylometric systems. This one is known as Signature. So it says here that sig Signature can be used to compare the styles of Jane Austen and other novelists. It can also be used to examine the authorial signature of the plays written by or controversially attributed to Shakespeare. And even here it was used to determine or whether or not Obama's book was written by an ex-terrorist, which is just, <laughs> which is very, very, very funny. So that is one kind of telemetric system out there, signature. Now, due to this technology, due to this application, there are counters, there are different ways how people now try to prevent telemetry from determining that they were the ones who actually wrote certain kinds of articles. So one of them here is known as the Anonymouth, and it's a Java-based application that aims to give users the tools and knowledge needed to begin anonymizing documents they have written. So again, you can take a look at Anonymouth. It's a very, very interesting concept. But I want to show you something here known as Relang. This is an anti stylometry tool. So it says, use this tool to mask your personally unique writing style in order to deceive authorship detection. So let's say, for example, I'm going to jump in here right now and I'm going to grab some text from one of my documents over here. Okay, let's grab all this stuff right here. Let's copy that. Let's jump over here to Relang. Let's go ahead and paste it. The text, let's fill in the capture. Let's submit. Oh, I'm sorry. Online three, incorrect capture entered. Oh, wow. I do apologize. I may have made a mistake with the capture. Let's try that again. All right, 5XVT5. Okay, I hope I got this this time. Submit. All right, there you go. So right now you can see this was the input and now this is the output. So basically what real length does is that it tries to rework any samples of text that you may have written and then uh, basically just tries to make sure that you cannot be identified uh, through the use of telemetric tools. So over here I can see that it basically capitalizes many of the words which I did not capitalize in the previous document, in the original document, and I can't really see other things it's done, but it is something you can play around with. You can get very, very large uh, pieces of text, maybe a thousand words, two thousand words, 
paste it in here, fill in the capture, and then see the kinds of outputs that you get. So before I go, there is also a very interesting article. It's actually a hidden article on Wikipedia. And it's basically the anonymous writing style where you have guidelines on how to write so as to ensure that Stylometry will not be able to determine that you're the one who actually wrote an article. So you have the typographical style right here, dialectical style, you can see right here all the advice and guidelines on how to write anonymously. I'm going to provide you with the link, however, you're going to need to use Tor in order to open this particular link. If you open this link on a regular browser, it's not going to open. If you have Tor, fine, go ahead and open the link. If you don't have Tor, if you don't know what Tor is, don't worry. We'll talk about Tor later on in the course. So that's it for Stellometry. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next class.